Howdy everyone, and welcome back to another weekend episode of Cooking with Mary Sue. Before we begin, please hit that like, subscribe at the bottom, and share. For this weekend's recipe, we're going to have a one-dish breakfast casserole. Also down below, before we start, there'll be links to my other channel, which is a reselling channel, where I showcase items that I pick up at thrift stores and arbitrage to sell on eBay and flip for a profit. Also be a link below to my eBay store, and there'll be a link below to my husband's uh, channel called Brother Claude Reflex. Now today we're going to concentrate, I'm going to make another little breakfast recipe, casserole. I love making one dish casseroles. They're easy, they're simple, you have less cleanup at the end, not a lot of pots and pans. And they're, I don't know, they're just fun to make. I like to throw different things together make different recipes. I don't really concentrate on uh, recipes that, where it's just set in stone, where you can't interchange things. I like to make re my recipes kind of flexible, where you can add and substitute different things. Uh, take something out you don't like, add something you do like. Try to make the recipe reflect your personality, what you like and what you don't like. Now this one here, I'm going to start off, it's going to be in a small 8x8 eight eight baking dish. This here is just enough for me and my husband for one or two meals once I make it. If you want to make this recipe for a large family, just double everything and put it in a 9 by 13 baking dish. This is going to be a recipe uh, using pancakes for the base. Yep, pancakes. Now I'm going to throw in a little hash browns and some breakfast meat and some cheese and eggs. Okay. First off, I am going to spray this with a little butter pan. It's not really a pan uh, brand, it's a Walmart brand. You can use any brand you like. Just so it doesn't stick. I'm spraying it really good. Okay. Now, now I made my pancakes. I made two large ones. Now these are larger than I make. These are really large. These are about seven to eight inches across. I normally make pancakes about half the size, but I made them bigger this time so they would cover this whole dish. And I just made these from a box. My favorite kind is Hungry Jack. Of course, you can use any brand you like. It doesn't matter. And if you want to be real creative, you could make pancakes from scratch. But that kind of defeats the purpose of having a quick and easy recipe, doesn't it? Okay. I'll take this huge pancake. I said this is a large one. It's about eight inch across. Put it down on the bottom. See? It fills that just perfect. Except for the little square edges. You are putting something round in a square, so. But it does fill from side to side. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do, I have a cup of shredded hash browns. Now, if you like, you could use the hash browns that have the onion and bell pepper. That, that's called O'Brien's. But this time I'm not. One thing, I never make my same recipe the same way twice. I could make it this way today, and next month make it a little bit different. I like to experiment with different ingredients and recipes. Okay, these are all thawed out. I just left them sitting on the counter for a little while to thaw out. You could put it in the microwave if you're in a hurry, though. I'm putting these right on top, in the middle, on the pancake. Try to keep everything on the pancake if possible. Oh, that's a good little base here. Kind of smash them down a little flat there. There, see? Got a layer of hash browns on top of the pancake. Next comes the meat. Like I said, this time I'm using a, this is smoked sausage. You could use Polish kielbasa, a smoked sausage made from beef or turkey. This happens to be beef here. I buy almost everything beef. My husband doesn't eat pork. But you could use pork sausage or turkey sausage or bacon. Now, most of it I already cut up ahead of time, but the last piece I want to cut now, I'll cut them in just a little bite-sized quarters. This is already pre-cooked, too. It's already fully cooked. Like I said, you can use any type of breakfast meat, or you could use no meat make it vegetarian. You don't have to put meat in this. All right. I'm just going to lay this all right on top of the potatoes. Try to keep it on the potatoes, not on the side. This is about half a pound here. If you're going to make this a bigger dish, just use a whole pound or a little more. Okay. I like smoked sausage in different recipes. It has a nice little flavor to it. 
I say what I need to do is beef smoked sausage. You could use pork or you could use beef breasts. I've used those before in recipes. Breasts are very good. All right. There. I've got all of it right on top. I'm trying to keep everything on top of the pancake if possible. Not let it fall off. I want everything on my pancake. That's why I make such a large pancake. Okay, but I mash it down a little bit so it keeps okay. That's about it. One more piece keeps falling off. <laughs> there. I've got that right there on top. Move this out of the way over there. Wipe my hands off a little bit. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is add four eggs to it. If you if you're making a larger one. 9 by 13, you probably need 6 to 8 eggs. I'm just using 4 in this one. Okay. Alright. Come on. Don't give me a problem. I don't want any problem breaking. Okay. Don't move this out of the way anymore. Move it over. Just going to beat these up, have a couple of seconds to beat them up. Add a little bit of pepper here. There, just a little pepper for flavor. If you want it easy to add, if you want it spicy, you can add just a little bit of uh, maybe crushed red pepper or some chili powder. Right. Make sure these can beat very well. That's pretty good. I'm going to try to slowly pour this. I'm trying to keep it right on top for the moment. It's going to run over. Okay. All right. There. Got the egg mixture in there. Now the cheese. I really don't measure this. I just kind of cover it. I'm using extra sharp. That's why I use most of the time for most of my recipes. But you can use any flavor cheese you want to. You can use a taco flavor cheese or Italian flavor or a feta. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Like I said, my ingredients are flexible. You can make this however you like it for you and your family. Now I'm going to put a top on this. Another pancake. Another large pancake. I'm going to mash it down a little bit. Okay. Now... I want this time I had before you went to, you could sprinkle just a little bit of syrup on top before you cook this. Give it a little bit of sweet flavor if you wanted to. But I'm not going to this time. I might do that next time. I am going to cover this with a little floor before I cook it. Because the, keeping the steam in will help the eggs cook faster. And it will help keep the pancake moist and soft. So I don't want the pancake to get hard and burn in the oven while it's cooking. I want it to stay soft. Alright. Spray the back of this just a little bit so it doesn't stick to the pancake and pull the pancake apart. I've had that happen before. Put it all kind of loose under the edges here. Just go cook in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes. That gives enough time for the egg to get done and the potatoes to finish to cook. Hey, that's it right there. Put that in the oven in a few minutes. Let me show you the one I cooked about an hour ago. It's still warm. Now in this one, instead of using smoked sausage, in this one I used a pound of beef breakfast sausage. I just cooked it and crumbled it up while it was cooking. Okay. And the egg that pours on the side, it cooks like a little omelet. See that right there? That nice big pancake there. You got I got sausage on the side there, and that's an egg that ran to the side. And it's got cheese on there. Let me put this open. Let me see how that looks right there. That make a good shot if the computer picks it up. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this and see what it looks like. I haven't cut it yet. This will be our breakfast in the morning. I'm not, I won't eat any of this tonight because I already planned for us to have some spaghetti that. I cooked a, not long ago and put it in the freezer. 
some baked spaghetti. If you like baked spaghetti, that's one of my other recipes I did a few weeks ago, a while back. Okay, let me pick this up. Hold on. There's my spatula. Ooh, that looks good, though. Try a piece of meat on the sausage. Mm, mm hmm mm. Now look at that. Doesn't that look good? Right there. You can see the layers right there. You got your sausage, the potato, the pancake on both sides. Kind of like having a, a pancake sandwich for breakfast. That's going to be so delicious later. Before we end today, I want to give a little thank you to some of the people in my life uh, that kind of encouraged me to continue with this. Like a uh, husband for one, he loves me doing these recipes because he loves to eat what I cook. And my sister is very encouraging. And I have a very, very good friend that we've been friends for over, I hate to say this, over 40 years. Her name's Kathy. She'll know who she is when she sees this. God bless y'all and God bless everyone else out there. Y'all have a good week. I'll be back next week with something else. Bye for now.